Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, that's for art. Um, you know, it's been a really long day. I actually went to YouTube's when I got home from school and looked for uh, the Missouri Accountability Project feed from UCY TV, and then I realized I was on the radio this morning myself. Ah, that's how busy I am. Like, my day was full. Uh, I want to talk to you about, I don't know, it's kind of this weird thing. We're in a calamity where we have a rapist, a child, a man who bragged about going into a tent where teenagers were changing their clothes because he was man, he was the owner of the Miss Teenage Pageant. And he got to see all these little sexy teenagers and he went in there and he was bragging about being able to go look at the jewels. This is the man we've elected or you elected for president. Uh, when Dana and I had this conversation last week, he was saying, it's, it's, she's worse, she's worse, Clinton is worse. No, you know what, Clinton, this is why Clinton is not going to be worse. Mike Pence, and this is why we have throng, this was not some, oh, George Soros planned these, Black Lives Matter got people out in the street. No, if I lived in a big city, I'd be out protesting. Because, boy, what's that? Because Donald Trump is frightening. And Mike Pence is frightening. People like me, uh, who have lived on the bottom of the economic scale most of my life, have had to struggle to have even halfway a decent life, who were completely neglected by the system. Uh, the school had to have seen the bruises. The school had to have seen the signs of sexual abuse coming from my sisters. Uh, it is incomprehensible that nobody saw it. And they had to have. There is no way they could not. And yet they allowed my father to perpetrate, just like people are allowing Donald Trump to perpetrate. And then we have Mike Pence, Mr. Uh, American Taliban, who actually passed into law. If a gay couple goes to get a license in Indiana, they could get arrested. He, wanted, he attempted to pass legislation that said any woman who had an abortion had to go to jail. He also demanded for the first time and got it through, passed into law, where in Indiana, if you have an abortion, you have to have a funeral for it and you have to, like, pay for the remains. It is uh, in, incomprehensibly ignorant. The reason Roe v. Wade, the cutoff date, all of that stuff has to do with the sustainability of the fetus. When does a fetus become a child? Now, I've had lots of people talk to me, this still murder. Fuck you. You're the same fucking people that send your kids off to war. So fuck off. If you're going to tell me that you are a pacifist and you don't believe in any war and you will never kill another thing, I can go with you on that one if you want to. But to say a woman does not have the right to choose the size of her family or how she has her family is none of your business. And Donald Trump and Mike Pence are a threat to women in this country. They are where I have a nephew who's half black. I have another uh, niece who is transgender. And we are afraid for them now. We are afraid that the KKK hats are going to get dusted off. And we're going to start seeing crosses burn and people with guns. He says he's going to take off all gun restrictions. Great. If we were an equally, you know, there weren't a bunch of racists out there who think that black people are less than them. Ask, ask Donald Trump if he thinks he's better than black people. Ask him. Ask him directly. Write him to the White House. And I, I ask you to ask him. In fact, maybe I'll start that own campaign so I can get into writing. Because Donald Trump believes that he is better because he is white. And this is who these people are. They are frightening, bigoted, misogynist. They also believe that they're smarter than us because we're women. And they're smarter because they're men. And we are their sexual targets. They get to, like, size us up and decide if they want to fuck us on, on the spot. Like, oh, yeah, and good for him because he's rich because women will do anything for money Fuck you, Donald Trump. Like, honestly, this is who we've elected. That's why people are in the streets. We're pissed off at the fucking Democratic Party. And if you think I hated Hillary Clinton yesterday, you have no idea how much I hate her today. I could have swallowed the bad pill, although I did not vote for her. I could have swallowed the bad pill of having her become the... Uh, 
president and be the murderer in chief in the White House. That I could have handled because she would have not stacked the deck against women, people of color and uh, transgender and, uh, for sexual liberty at all. I mean, what do you think the slut walk's going to look like next year with Donald Trump as president? Those fucking guys that come out there to harass the women year after year, they almost start fights. They come out to start fights with the men who are supporting us. What do you think that's going to look like? We shudder to think about it. So no, Donald Trump was not a reasonable fucking choice. And fucking Hillary Clinton, I hope they indict her and burn her ass bad. I hope she gets humiliated. In fact, I hope tonight she just dies in her fucking sleep. That's how mad I am at her. In fact, I hope she just burns in hell forever and doesn't quite die, slips into a coma and is on a fucking breathing tube for fucking 40 years, draining her fucking foundation to keep her half dead. I mean, honest to God. When I, I, you know, I came to YouTube's to see what people were saying. You know, I woke up this morning and everybody's like, "Yay, we we defeated the evil one." That's kind of the tone here on YouTube's, right? I get that. I feel exactly the same way. Hillary Clinton is a sexual predator. Me and Dana discussed this last week. She protected her husband. Him and Donald Trump are on the same pl same plane. Having sex with teenage prostitutes. It is not conjecture, folks. That's why that lady is going to court. People do not want to come out about the sexual predator problem that we have in this country. And it starts with talking about it. And it is not a... My niece had a fucking heart attack at the last uh, videotape that I did. She's like, oh, you're talking about family issues. Fuck that. It is not family issues. It's everywhere. A family issue is you lend your brother 500 bucks and they never fucking pay you back. That's a family issue. A brother or a father or an uncle forcing his 10 or 12 or 5 or 6 or 2 or 3 year old or 15 or 18 year old daughter to have sex with them and coercing them and talking them into it. That is rape. And that person needs therapy. There is help for that. And it's constant help. You don't just go see a fucking therapist three times and you're done. But to just, let's don't cover, let's cover that part up and, oh, you're just listening to conjecture. No, there's lots of fucking evidence. I mean, you guys are willing to rail Bill Clinton right up and down the rails because he got caught fucking a 21-year-old girl. But really, Donald Trump, on many shows, not even just that hidden tape, I mean... Listen to the Howard Stern Show. Go listen to the tapes of the Howard Stern Show. That is who Donald Trump is. And it's not fucking bravado either. So let's stop with the misogyny. And for those of you who do not have a decent enough education to understand that women are equal to men in every aspect, sexually, emotionally, physically, we have different physical capacities, but every man has a different physical capacity from another man. I'm stronger than lots of fucking men I know in lots of ways, not just physically. So it's bullshit. This is just, this is why people are in the streets, folks. This is why people are out protesting at Trump Tower, because we do not want the KKK hats to come out. We are petrified for our mixed and mixed gendered family and friends. We're not going to let them slip it back. And if you think you're going to have a fucking gun in your backyard and in the back of your car and you see somebody and you want to start spewing racial slurs, you know what? We've had enough of that. There is no need for that. We know who elected Donald Trump. The white, misogynist, racist pigs. That's who did it. And it wasn't quite one fair and square. A, it was one with Hillary Clinton stealing the nomination from Bernie Sanders, who would have mopped the street with Trump. Every, Bernie Sanders won against every single candidate. There wasn't one that he would lose against in every poll that was done. So why did the Democrats sabotage Bernie? Because the, the overlords wanted Hillary Clinton. Only Little Billy went up on the tarmac and pissed him off. So they planned some hard-ass lessons for the Clintons, didn't they? And you know what? I'm rejoicing because we don't have fucking Hillary Clinton as president. I mean, we were given shit sandwiches. That's what we were served. Which, which option do you want? Fresh shit or old shit? You guys pick the, old, the new shit. 
And this new shit is going to be bad. And they are going to, I feel like we just stepped back 70 years. The people who elected Donald Trump were in areas that were gerrymandered. The Republicans have been figuring out ways to make voter registration voting much more difficult because they know black people, poor people like us, working mothers, working women, working families can't figure that shit out, how to get their paperwork straight. So they make it really difficult. They do, oh, well, it's kind of like the old Jim Crow laws where you had to be able to repeat the Constitution before you could uh, uh, vote. So now you have to have a state identification. You have to have this because you know what? You might be a terrorist. When we know that all of these motherfuckers are heavily invested in war profiteering. They all make profits off the war. And let's just talk about profits. If you guys fucking think the DAPL is going to be stopped with Mr. Trump, you are sorely mistaken. He is highly invested in that. They're just going to fucking wipe out all those people very shortly. And my guess is Uncle Tom Obama is going to do it for him. That's what's happening right now. They're going to hurry up and get this new access pipeline so we don't have to wipe out the Indians. This whole fucking thing, like, we are living in unbelievable times, folks. It's really important for us to remember to keep our feet and keep our heads calm. But I actually kind of got a little unhinged there when I heard on the television, on the radio. We don't know why, people. We just need to come together. Up yours. I'm not coming together with Donald Trump. He will never be my president. He's a fucking chimo. I, just like Bill fucking Clinton. The fucking Clintons are monsters. They're fucking horrible people, just like the people in the white, all of them. It's disgusting. And if America can be proud of that, then you are despicable. Then you need to get an education. Then you need to raise your standards. You know, it's easy to like something when you find it under a rock. It's harder to reach up higher for the better things. But you know what? It's worth it. So I'm going to end here. I see the date is starting on 7.33 right now, so I'm going to stop. I just wanted to come and tell people who are out there putting up videos and saying, oh, it's George Soros. Fuck you. It's not George Soros. It's the fucking broke people. It's the people who have had relatives strung up on a tree, who have had relatives beaten up and left for dead in alleyways just because they're transgendered or gay. So fuck you. No. This is the America you're asking for. We're freaked out. So no, I mean, we're not going to start violence. But it is not going to be tolerated. So you better keep to yourself, you racist, if you're out there. Hopefully you've been healed. We need to realize that this skin color is nothing. It's skin. Our sexuality is nothing. It's our sexuality. What makes a person is your heart is the love and the efforts you help to your community, to the people around you, to the people that matter. We have developed a culture where people just fuck each other over and go, oh, well, gee, I'm really sorry about that, but I really still love you still. No, you don't. People need to start practicing love and practicing forgiveness and practicing walking that way. And for that reason, I'm not going to raise my rates on any of my clients who voted for Trump. <laughs> Which I really wanted to do, but I'm not going <laughs> to. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go. Uh, I know that many of you voted for Trump, and I, I actually don't think you understand the implication of the horror that these people are going to bring to us if they do half of what they say. Because it will be horrific, and it will drive America underground. It will. It, I mean, we're already off the fucking cliff, but we are going to hit the wall fast if these people do what they say they're going to do. And I fear... This is, I guess, I have to remember that love is greater than fear, that we have to walk in love no matter what. And when this lady says, bananas, bananas, like radiation, it's a fucking idiot. It's not like radiation. So it's time for us to stop all the stupid stuff and start healing. Ciao. 
and Trump. I'm not having a Chimo president, and I'm not going to have the American Taliban president. If they kill Trump, I still don't accept uh, the American Taliban. No thanks. Ciao.